one just me checking in ahead of your paper two chemistry exam so here are my predictions for the 2024 paper the first thing i want to point out is remember they can technically ask you about any bit of the spec it's not just the paper two topics so it is important that you look over those notes particularly topics which didn't come up on the first paper because they are allowed to ask you now Organic chem, I feel, will be a large portion of tomorrow's paper, simply because it showed up so little in paper one, which is super unusual. Your focus, obviously, should be on esters, carboxylic acids, alcohols. Make sure you can draw these homologous series, that you can recognise the functional groups. Ensure that you can name the ester. Don't forget about polyesters. Remember that it's a condensation reaction, which means that a water molecule is lost every time that ester link forms. And don't forget to look at the differences in the manufacturing methods for alcohol, both fermentation and hydration of ethene. It's also important that you can talk about the oxidation of alcohols. So that will be complete combustion, microbial oxidation, and the reaction with potassium dichromate 6 in the presence of a sulfuric acid catalyst. Remember, it turns from orange to green. Now, dynamic equilibrium pretty much comes up every year. In paper two is meant to be the most difficult topic. Um, I fully expect a question on electrolysis so do make sure you can identify the products at the anode and the cathode. Titration calculations, do make sure you convert those units from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed if they're asking about a particular concentration that you need to find as well as the method. I know that, that this is a lot of topics but if you actually look at the past papers, you can see these topics coming up time after time after time. So it's important that you look at them. Okay, and do make sure you've watched my last minute tip videos because I mentioned quite a lot about making salts there. But good luck and come let me know how your exam goes tomorrow.